Hi everybody. So today I want to talk about beautiful homeschooling distractions. Um, as some of you know me from social media, um, as some of you know me from social media, I have been homeschooling for 13 years. I have five kids who are all homeschooled. Um, my husband and I have graduated two homeschoolers and one is an entrepreneur and the other one is in her senior year in college. She is on the, the Dean's list and doing very well. She was had been homeschooled since third grade. Um, and But I wanted to talk a little bit today about homeschool distractions in hopes of helping some moms out there not to give up on homeschooling. Um, we currently have three in the nest that we are homeschooling. Um, ages 13, almost 10, and we have a almost two-year-old. And so with my 10-year-old son, he is the most challenging homeschooler um, because his focus, it takes a lot for him to focus in. But it was something so beautiful happened um, today, which happens every day. But I really stopped to ponder this today. Um, as he was doing his math, he became distracted. But the things he was distracted with was he was observing nature. As you guys know, we um, moved to Montana a year ago and we are currently building our home on 46 acres of land. Well, we're surrounded by mountains and beauty and um, the largest um, freshwater lake west of the Mississippi. And so he was observing some stuff today and it took his mind off of math. And I was just like, you know what? This is beautiful. This is learning. This is helping our children to explore the world around them. And the, it came to me, beautiful homeschool distractions. Um, it wasn't that he needed a lecture or anything like that. It allowed me to stop and pause and see what he was observing and understanding that he's learning from his environment. It also made me think about what would happen if he was in school. If he was in school and he was being distracted by something or, you know, or maybe his mind wandered somewhere and he said something to a teacher, he could easily be, you know, corrected, shamed in front of the other students. Or, you know, if it happened enough, he could be labeled as having attention deficit or something. And so a lot of kids, as we know, and as the studies show that African-American kids are more likely to be labeled um, with ADHD um, in, than any other race, it's so important for us as African-American parents to take charge of our children's education if we're in that position to do that. You know, I would never shame a parent or tell a parent that wasn't in a situation to do it. Um, I can encourage you on how I did it and how I continue to work today as an entrepreneur and while homeschooling my um, children. Um, and they are all of different ages. It's absolutely challenging, but it can absolutely be done. And um, follow my, my page and I will do more videos to talk about how I balance work and homeschooling my kids but I wanted to do this video just to talk about beautiful homeschool distractions that sometimes those distractions are part of just their everyday learning and how important it is for them to explore the world around them and have and, and how homeschooling allows you to create an environment where they can feel safe and to explore that world without being labeled as being bad or a problem or an issue. As we all know about um, the school to prison pipeline um, a lot of times our children, according to statistics, are punished more than any other child. Um, the, the one statistic I read was about the girls, the uh, African-American girls, even though they're not getting in trouble as much as other races, they are punished more severely when they do get in trouble. And so um, we have to understand that the biases and the racism in society are also present in school. And this is why homeschooling, one of the reasons homeschooling is important to, to my family. The other reason is because we can raise up leaders. Like our oldest daughter is an entrepreneur. She's traveling the country right now with um, Christian artists, um, dancing and serving the Lord. And so it's been so important to us to raise our children to be leaders and not be pigeonholed into a box 
that the system put them in. So hopefully this video was helpful. I'm going to do more videos. Um, so like, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications and also comment because when you comment, it helps to boost the, this, um, this video, um, which allows us to do more videos. So hopefully this was helpful. Tell me about your homeschooling journey in the comments. Tell me what's, what things challenge you. What things would you like for me to talk about? I'm going to do a curriculum, do curriculum reviews and all of that good stuff. So, um, if anyone wants to send things to me, I'll also put my PO box so that um, I could review it. But be blessed and I'll see you on the next video.